All right. Word. Hello, Internet, and welcome back to the Catholic D&D campaign, The Belly of the Forest. When we last left our party, they had escaped back to the elven city of Cortios. Um, Granny and Brian had gone shopping for uh, some magical items. Granny managed to get her cat furry again, and Kyle's hair was restored. They ran into a bit of Nico's past as he confronted his alliance with the drow and the ways that they taught him being a monk. They were also informed that an orc raid was to be taking place on the city within a few days. And so, um, as you are all kind of making preparations, uh, it is about... It's about early early morning at this point. I, I, I will say that you guys did go to bed and, and take a long rest um, at the end of last session. So. so take a long rest if you haven't already, but otherwise, yes, the day is yours to do as you wish. What? What do you do? Wait, weren't we in the swamp? Mm hmm no, you were in an alleyway. I just pulled out the swamp because that's the most, oh, that's the closest okay. map I had. Yes. Okay. You okay, you okay. are you are head you are headed to the swamp. Last I recall. Got it. So. Well, Kyle gets up early in the morning, does his routine workout, and um, as Nico is getting all about, you see Kyle just <laughs> strike up a cigar as he starts puffing and puffing, and he's like. I am going to go to the store and get something, buy some more cigars, and maybe a shield or so. We'll see. Nico, do you want to come along, or do you want to sit here? And brew like a te typical teenager does. Ah, pretty good it is then. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was stacking the whole time. <laughs> I don't brood. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm not going to stare at the wall. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I'll come with you. <laughs> and he just tosses. Go. He, he tosses Nico a cigar. Nico takes him, puts Granny it in his pocket. Did he that? <laughs> oh, don't you go teaching the young man your filthy habits? It is not a filthy habit. It is a lively pastime, and it's good for you. It is not good for yeah. you. It's disgusting. Uh, you and your goody How will he learn? How will he learn to be a? It's called a serious adventurer. If he doesn't, I'll pick up a filthy habit or two. Look. He's gonna put some hair on his man's chest. Look at him. He's a scrawny little twig. He needs something in his body to toughen him up. Smoke isn't going to Kyle. do that. Nico punches Kyle. See? He just punched me and I felt nothing. He punches him again, seriously this time. <laughs> I'm rolling this one. <laughs> ah, see? Go you for it. You get him. <laughs> <laughs> loading up here uh, <laughs> and besides I gotta get other people addicted to my habits more the barrier and it won't hurt you to smoke one you need to relax granny I'm perfectly relaxed thank you sips for tea <laughs> I am completely calm <laughs> What about you, Brian? You seem quite uptight, little man. Would you like to have a smoke? Brian's just gonna look over and be like, "No, I am not. Thank you, mate." Oh, that's the wrong accent. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I did too many characters. Sorry. <laughs> Kyle's not just like, like, um. <laughs> Did you just change that? the first session, the other guy Australian? I thought he had, like, uh, something yeah. to come back. I love it. 
<laughs> Try again, Brian. <laughs> yeah. Well, there, laddie. I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, you see, I'm more of a more of a chew on it. He's weak guy myself, you know. Why is the wrong accent? They don't come to me. British or what was that? Irish. It sounded Irish there. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great, Zach. Oh, there it is. It'll come back. Just, just give me a minute. Brain has to remember what in the world it's like to be in Texas for too long. All right, the second hit doesn't do anything more than the first. It hits like your armor that you're wearing. Which is nine. His muscles, his armor. Young man, would you like me to teach you how to how to hit something? I have fought in an arena before. I will teach you how to hit. <laughs> Nico, Don't touch me. Nico, there is no reason to fight a wizard. They'll they'll go um, down to one punch point... anyway. Don't worry. At, at at this point, the 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 elven uh, tavern owner who who kind of runs the establishment where you all have been staying, he's like, you know, cigar cigars are fine, but if you really want the good stuff, I I highly suggest you try some of this homegrown elven hemp we have around here. Can you make it into a cigar? I can make it into any shape you want. You're suggesting the wacky tobacco. <laughs> Kyle just walks up and says, sure, why not? And he... Go ahead and give me a con save, Kyle. Well, whatever Kyle does, Nico is doing too. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a con save then, Nico. <laughs> Grant is over there face palming. I'm not touching I'm this. I'm literally face palming right now. <laughs> I'm not touching this because I don't want performance enhancing drugs. <laughs> the elf kind of he he look, he looks at both of you. He's actually more surprised the, the fact that the 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 marijuana didn't do as much to Nico. He's like, huh? I expected something out of um, you over there gesturing to Kyle. I I, ex I expected you to be able to sustain yourself, but you and looking over at Nico. That thin frame of yours, I'm I'm surprised you managed to hold up. Well done. Yeah, I only look scrawny. Is there the any board. like gem stores in town? Like, is there any is there any artisan guild areas? I guess. Um, in this particular town, not really. As far as like as far as like crafting like metals and stuff, yeah, no, not not here. Oh yeah, not I... even any like gemstones or anything. Um, no. You know, because of your history, Brian, that um, your family owns, but uh, your your family has knowledge of like a a quote unquote secret uh, metalworking factory that's kind of close by, associated with the tribe, but there's none actually within the city limits. Yeah. So. Yeah, Brian's just gonna. Uh, is there a? <laughs> He's gonna look like look at the the innkeeper like. Good morning, sir. Where could a nice gentleman like myself get a nice cup of your joe? Ah, yes, we uh, we brew that here fresh every morning. That'll be a that'll be about two copper. Well, of course, sir. And I'm gonna flick some copper. And like I don't talk right until I have my cup of joe in the morning. Otherwise, I start speaking in tongues. Like I'm not even from the in the dark anymore. Do you, do, would you like any sort of uh, flavoring in your coffee? Chocolate? Mint? Raspberry? No, sir. I need it dark oh. as you can make it. All right. Coming right up. Goes back and you hear... And the grinder's kind of firing up and comes out later with a piping hot mug of coffee. Brian's going to take a sip and just, like, smack his lips. Like, ah, they need to spot. He's more... Pure beans, though. I like it where you just get that all that granular. It's just like drinking mush. That's my kind of coffee. It's just so I'm, af I'm afraid they only sell that in the Underdark, sir. Well, I mean, you can make it. You just got to halfway crush the beans. That's what I always used to do. I will <laughs> keep that in mind, sir. You have a good morning. Halfway uh, crushed beans? 
I didn't know that that was something that was on offer. Uh, and as he kind of exits the table, you see sudden you suddenly start to see a throng of just common folk uh, rush into the tavern, get get kind of their morning breakfast. The place crowd the place gets crowded very quickly. Ah, people, let's get out of here. I'd like to go shopping for um ingredients. Ingredients for what? Uh, the culinary arts. Oh, those kind of ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, that is definitely doable. Um, there are, there are several bakeries about town that would be willing to kind of, um, point you in the right direction in terms of like a general foods store. Um, so you and I'm assuming you're picking up like flour, eggs, milk, that sort of thing. Yeah, and also herbs and medicinal stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, so all together, that'll run you about... That'll probably run you about one silver. Okay. Especially if you're buying in bulk. If you want to buy a little bit less, it'll be cheaper. But if you're buying in bulk, it'll be about one silver. Um... So, I, I, I spiked all right. I spiked it a little um, harder, and oh, it's so that takes that that takes a couple hours. It is about mid morning now. You've got about maybe two hours to noon. Just, Kyle was just like, like he's like he has one. He's like a big cigar in his mouth. It's not like you know like a cigarette stuff. No, no, it's like one of those big old long fat cigars. He's holding it with his lips, and um. He's just walking around. If he, once he's, he kind of slowly smokes at it, but then every now and then once he grows up, he just lights another one. All right. I'm going to, I'd like to just listen for the feel of the gossip. Um, go ahead and give me, go ahead and give me a perception check, Winkhelm. See, perception or investigation, whichever one you feel more comfortable. Rolling. Investigation. Okay. No. Respectable number, please. That'll suffice. Okay. Um. So, as far as like, I don't. I don't know what you're searching for in terms of like the types of gossip. You end up hearing some gossip about a man attempting his first wild shape. And uh, trying to basically wild shape into a bear, but it, it ends up wrong, and he ends up with a human upper half and a bear lower half. So he just wandered around with a bear butt all day. Um, so that is one bit of gossip you hear. Uh, there's another bit of gossip that catches your eye. Something uh, you hear. Many people are starting to worry about the orc raid. An orc raid hasn't hasn't happened in in a few weeks, and. They're very nervous with the spies' reports about the orc raid that should be coming in a few days. Um, you do catch wind of a slight revolution. Someone is so someone has thought of an idea to try and overthrow the emperor, but everyone dis everyone dismisses the man as just a crazy old halfling. Okay. Anything about us? Um, not really. You guys haven't really made a name for yourselves yet in terms of this particular city. I mean, there there are reports of an elf that has been going around with a very contagious sickness. You can assume that this is Nico's older brother, um, and you hear. You hear whispers of, yeah, I don't know what he's got, but let's just hope for our sake he doesn't return. Wait, so yeah, Nico's brother, Nico, Nico's brother Daphir is not the most popular person at the moment. Is it actually contagious? Did we catch it? Um, you have not caught it from what you understand of medicine, Granny. You, oh, you so only yeah. granny is learning all this? By the way, uh, uh, hey, Nico. 
Yes, Bonzo? Would you stop with the stupid nicknames. You remember your brother and we were at the office and you we were trying to eavesdrop? Yeah. Yeah, I heard some things about your brother. Whenever I was overhearing in as it fly. Something uh, it was hard, but something about how he was bitten. He was going to going to happen soon. Uh, oh, a few other things. Uh, he was bitten by something. He was bitten. Well, probably by one of those plants that he went to investigate. Or by a werewolf. Or by any other creature that has that can bite. Well, okay, I guess we don't know what it is, but... Does that mean he's been around here? He sounds like he's been traveling a bit and wandering around, getting his nose in the places he shouldn't be sticking it. But I would keep an eye on him, and hopefully Sotum will cure his illness. Absolutely, let's keep an eye on him. I, I don't know what to think about the fear right now. He left me a really confusing note, but it doesn't, it, like, nothing's lining up. I don't know. Let's just focus on the, oh, the orc tribe. wait a second. Hold on a second. I remember where our last session left off at. We left off with that weird music playing. Yes, yeah, so then you all went to bed. <laughs> we were tired, okay? Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. We're gonna go back now, sorry. Um... But yes, he was telling about Nico, brother, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with your brother. I, I hope he's going to be okay. But hopefully the AMS will help him out with this. Yeah, we need to track him down. We need to shake him and find get a straight answer out of him. Maybe he's doing this to protect you. I don't need his protection. I need him. We're going to track him down. Once we've got rid of the Sork tribe, we need to go track him down. Speaking of this Orc tribe, you had connections with the people before where we got you out of that little ordeal. This is, this, this is the Orc tribe that you've been dealing with. Maybe. So what can you tell, what have you been doing with this orc tribe? I, you're with me, you're with the AMS now, whatever has happened has been bygone for now. We need to know, all of us need to know what we're about to get ourselves into. If you have information about this orc tribe, that would be beneficial to all of us. What have you been doing with them? What are their intentions? I worked for them when... Got fear left to join the GAMS. Mom and dad wanted me to do that too, but I didn't want to do that. And I didn't want to take over a mirror shop of all things. So I found other work and they, really, they took me in. The chief took really good care of me. And you're going to be okay if so we need to go fight them. No, I'll talk. I'll talk them out of it. It'll be fine. But what happens if something does go wrong? What happens if the line, the line is drawn in front of you to either protect the orcs or to protect us? What Listen, would you orcs have a good reason for what they do. Okay. Plus, but what I'm saying is, plus, is, is. What line are you going to cross? If they were to attack us, would you attack them? Or would you attack us? Whose side would you why be you on? Asking? Why are you asking? I am simply knowing, trying to figure out where your loyalty is. 
You're with the DAMS. Well, you are with the DAMS right now. I know you're not too pleased, and I know it was more or less forced upon you. The DMS has a yeah, rule wrong. to uphold. But if these orcs were to try to attack this party of ours, thought, or to attract... I thought you hated party, rules. I don't. I hate orcs. I despise them. No offense, Brian. Actually, not uh, attacking, sir. More, maybe some offense. Why is your darn token? <laughs> um, I said rules. Are you Elias? <clears throat> What? Rules? Are you L-E-S? There are some rules, but I have a grudge against the orcs. But at the same time, if they, if peace can be made, then that be that will be beneficial. But typically, orcs don't like peace. They like violence. They like to rampage. They like to slaughter. I'm telling. What I'm asking here is is if these orcs do not. Reje if they reject peace and we have to fight them, would you fight by their side or fight by our side? That is a simple answer. Where is your loyalty at? You're asking me if I should fight for the people who raised me for six years or the people who I've been with for two months and you expect you sound like you have a certain answer that you want. You, he has a very good point. You're asking a lot of him. Maybe he shouldn't come along then. You, you do know that, like, raids happen everywhere all the time. But we're choosing to go and get involved in this one, right? To protect innocents from being killed by these orcs. Who said they're innocent? Who said they'll be killed? There are other possibilities other than death? I know orcs. You know orcs? Is I Brian know. in this scene? Yeah, Brian's just yep. there. <laughs> Nico looks meaningfully over here. Does he know orcs? Well, Sir, I am from the Underdark. Why would I know? Surely we're born there. He probably Earth's knows way. orcs better than I do. That's the my soul. I know orcs. I was 13. But you couldn't have been born in the Underdark. I don't know. I was born to orcs, but they kicked me out after a while. They didn't really like the fact that I could uh, use magic and put two sticks together and suddenly there was a bonfire and then the entire camp was on fire. You know, I was a little bit of a hazard whenever I was young, <laughs> learning how uh, magic worked. You know, you can only burn down so many tents before the entire village gets mad. See, orcs are chaotic. They're not evil. You know, what you, Mr. Brian, what you have described is very sensible and I, that is a very sensible chieftain that you've all come up, you've all presented. Exiling someone for being a danger to their society. I, that can hardly be faulted. If you don't have the ability to train someone properly in magic, and they cannot be kept in a town. They have to find someone somewhere who can do it properly. Because I should probably mention they didn't just drop me off. They kind of kicked me into a ditch and hoped I would stay there. That's not the best, but again, it is not safe to practice magic if there's not I think there are what, no safeguards. Well, I, I have think... a counter question for you, Bryce. You mean Kyle? <laughs> Kyle. What? I were to go and find my second dad. Are you going to kill him? Look. I don't want to. And I hope it doesn't lead to that. But understand this, Nico. As a duty, as a 
DAMS officer. It is my job to protect the innocents and to protect the people who can't defend themselves. That is my sworn duty and my, my oath I have promised to Stotum. I have hurt and killed many people in my past. And I have promised that I would, I would only do it as protection now. I don't want to kill your second father. But if your second father is reckless and doesn't see reason and decides to attack an innocent village for no reason but just to gain loot or whatever to his pleasures, then I will act on my duty to, to slaughter him or at least put him in behind bars that he deserves. I do not want this. May I, may I interject? No, no, no. That, that sounds like a lot of words for yes. But uh, you, You're something... starting to sound like you don't want me to come on this mission. You actually said something very uh, telling, that you you kill you do this as protection of the innocents. Uh, the I have always felt that the who. When you say that you're going to pr protect uh, the innocents from the rampages of some mage or from some uh, some orc band, what the uh, the, the the innocents? never get to see these people and they're only ever or uh, they only ever hear of it in this in, in rumors and tales and you of which you invent and then they get to see me a gladiator perform magic in a controlled setting and you get to tell people this is the kind of danger that uh, you would have to face if it weren't for us. Why is it that certain people are marked out for destruction? And who sele who selects them? I, 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 I put my hand against the, the band on my neck. What you're saying is Innocents can watch you fight, and who gets to choose? Who gets nobody to who watches me isn't innocent. They all are there because they enjoy blood sport. But we're not talking about people in the arena. We're, we're not talking, talking about, about arena. We're not talking about that. That is not the purpose. I'm talking about the innocent farmer man and farmer village that has that doesn't even know who the heck you are. Who doesn't know anyone here who we are? They know nothing except how to raise a plot of land, how to take care of some cattle, and that whatnot. And yet, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that y you could create, you go after people. In all, tell me, tell me, did you choose to go into the arena? Was it That's your choice to go into the arena? That's a complicated question. It's a yes or no. Did you choose? Or were you forced? Because uh, if you chose, then that is on your end. That is your fault that you're putting yourself in life danger. For, for you, you, if you say yes, that you did this to yourself, you are seeking the entertainment and fame. Not, not trying to um, be a slave and stuff like that. No, you are seeking fame and attention. People will give that to you. People want to see action in their boring day life. If you say no, then guess what? That's one less fighter. They don't have to be arena. This doesn't have to exist. But there's always going to be... Oh. Yes, Veronica? I'm very confused what we're talking about right now. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, let me... No this, this orc raid... Well, I'm so, what is well, I was going on to... with the orc raid, Adam? Um, who are they raiding? Where did we hear about this? Okay, so uh, you heard... 
Kyle and Nico heard from the DAMS that there is an or there's an orc tribe that is basically Brian's family coming from the swamp to the city where you guys are now. They will be here in like three days. Well, and do we know what they want? I, actually, actually, more like one and a half. Um, and I accused the DAMS of picking uh, people to mark as enemies. Uh, hold on, hold on. It, all right, sorry. Hold on, hold on. Um, Brian would know that the, that the Grizzled Teeth, their, their main goal is basically... It basically traces its roots back to just blood hatred. They just they they just hate elves. They were told stories centuries ago of the differences between orcs and elves, and so that gives them license in their thinking to just slaughter as many elves as they want. So we're arguing here about whether we it's okay to stop them. That was the argument, yes. 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 Hey, Granny's really <laughs> disgusted right now. Like, they're coming to kill people, and we're not allowed to defend ourselves. Seriously. Nico, I understand that this group raised you. Nico, uh, Nico is gone. Nico. No, he's not. He's not. No, he's not gone yet. He's not gone yet. He's not gone yet. Okay. It's like Nico. Nico. Nico does not leave undramatically. Nico, <laughs> I understand. This is a, they raised you, and he treated you well. I understand that, and I respect that in a way. But you need to understand that that group you are with is evil. They want to slaughter us. They want to slaughter our kind just because they think they can, or because they just want to for their own pleasure. Understand this, Nico. Innocent lives, not people who are going to watch the arena. Innocent if they lives. Wanted to they wanted to slaughter everyone. Why didn't they kill me? To be fair, sir, did you have some sort of monetary gain if they, if you were to stay with them and they were to raise you? Talking to me? Well, of course. Who else would I be talking to? No one else except for two of us and raised by orcs, I think. I don't know. No, I, was, I don't know who I raised Granny. I ain't that old. I was just a bum <laughs> off the streets. They taught me how to fight. They They taught me how to be smart on the streets. Well, Nico, if that's the case and they did train you, then that means that there is a chance that they may not, they may listen to reason, that they may not attack. That's what I'm, that's what I've been saying. What I'm telling you, Nico. You haven't been listening to me. But I get that. But what I'm telling you is, is well, I'm telling, I'm looking at the other end. I'm hoping they work with us. I'm hoping no. this happens. I'm saying, what if they don't? No, you have not been saying what if they don't. You've been saying what if they do. And have been completely ignoring the what if they don't. No, he's clo been saying, close the city gates. He's Just literally turn them back. Been asking what if it doesn't work and they fight anyway. Will Nico turn against us? That's what he's been asking. That's what I've been time. saying the entire time. I, I don't know, Kyle. I don't know. What happens if they turn against you? Against me? Let's well, just say the fence at that point. Why you... don't we try it? Why don't we try diplomacy first? I mean, everyone deserves exactly a chance, and then and then if things get bad, then we defend ourselves. No, not with muscles here. They're gonna chop one of their heads off. I don't even go into a blood rage anyway. I'm just, I just understand, Nico. I, I want to work. I want this to work. I want this to work out. But if it doesn't, there's a chance it might not work. There's always a chance. There is a chance. And there's a chance it may not work. I'm saying is you got to look at both sides of the story. You can't just see what you want. You have to think of the effect of other people's lives, not just your own. Whatever. Either way, we're all agreeing that we're sending out Nico first to go talk to his fan, to his folks, right? I uh, think that maybe the best option. He's the most peaceful with them, after all. 
I think that he should have yeah. someone to go Screw with this. him. I'm gonna go do that. You should have Nico someone to go leaves. to stand up. This... You should have someone to go with him. Nico, this is not smart. Nico's gone. Can't hear you, Bob Self. <laughs> you see him. You see him sprinting out of the city. Should I go after I'm him? I'm gonna run after him. Darn it, false start. You shouldn't have defused. I was working up to a brilliant. I was gonna a brilliant, like raging exit. <laughs> I, All want right. to, I want to chase him. <laughs> All right, Kyle, Kyle, so. Kyle, Kyle, granny legs. Uh, uh, while, Kyle, while Granny's running, Kyle just picks up a rock and chunks it far at Nico's head. He just tries to throw his rock at Nico's head. Uh, 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 attack roll, attack roll with disadvantage. He's far and he's a monk. He can run fast. <laughs> uh, attack roll with disadvantage. What do I attack with? Um, um. <laughs> If Granny calls arms? after him, would he hear her? <laughs> um, considering your speed and his speed, probably not. <laughs> so, okay, uh, what do I roll? Um, just, uh, just, just roll, just roll a strength check with okay, disadvantage. Well, I'm gonna roll with normal because he's gonna have reckless attack. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> he's okay. got a little bit more oomph into that throw. Okay, so just a flat. Strength check, no advantage, no disadvantage. <laughs> oh, my foundry is being really. S okay, was... 17. Um, Tell me it hit him. Tell me it has clocked him a bit on the body. A, a, a 17 hits, Nico, you feel a rock and hit the back of your head. <laughs> he turns around and flips Kyle off. Wait, does he Keeps see Granny running. running after him? <laughs> Wait, can't you use your um reaction uh to catch it? Not if you know the rock speed. I didn't, I didn't see him. it coming. I didn't see it coming. Yeah. Okay, you he know what? He didn't see it coming. You know what? I'm gonna use thaumaturgy to make my voice boom. <laughs> okay, you so you cast you you cast <laughs> thaumaturgy, Granny. What 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 do you say? I want to come with you. Please don't go alone. <laughs> He goes, skids, and turns around. <laughs> she lets Granny catch up. Okay. You want to come with me? I guess I can't just let you poor thing go all by yourself. This is going to be very difficult. I know these orcs. I'll be fine. Yeah. So, I'm really surprised that other, Ryan didn't come other, along. If other that people... Is... I was just about to say, actually... They might think of you as a traitor. I'm gonna have a... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have Brian hop on his uh, Eldritch Cannon and ride all the way over. Oh my gosh. Well, 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 before he goes, like, Brian, are you sure about this? Brian's back. Like, no, don't worry about it, Mike. Look, he's just gonna tip his hat forward so you can't see his face. He's like, I'm a different man now. Look, <laughs> I will say this as much as I despise orcs, you're different, Brian. I'm gonna grab. Uh... Kyle by his ear and uh, drag him along behind me. Oh, Kyle is going bad. to full blown deck you. Um, um, <laughs> um, hold on. Wait. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to think about the physics of this because Kyle's like six feet tall. How tall are you, Winkhelm? I'm just an ordinary, like, uh, 5'10. Kyle is 6'3, sir. Kyle is 6'3. I'm gonna try to grab you by the ear and drag you along behind me so that we, you can uh, apologize to him. I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> oh my god. Why, why is this my party? The moment you grab his ear and start to tug on it, you see his eyes just fume red as he is gonna go into a rage. Just, just a second. While they're doing that, she, uh, Granny's just gonna say, okay, um, Nico, at least take Brian with you. Don't go alone. Yeah, so 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 the party is now basically like halfway out of the city, like a, like a few. I would say about maybe oh, like thirty more miles, um, and you guys will be in the swamp. I'm surprised no one took a like a horse and buggy or nothing. You guys just all went <laughs> off on foot. I mean, I'm not my. It cabinet. looks like <laughs> it looks like everybody's coming anyway, Granny. Might as well wait for them to catch up. I was hoping to get. Oh, more gossip, but okay. This is, we got enough spicy tea to. 
Um, Surprise. And in, in, in the distance, Nico, you and Granny hear what appears to be a war horn. Ooh. Um, by the way, that was the 20 to punch. <laughs> to, punch, to punch Wink Helm. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Go. Uh, go ahead and go ahead and roll damage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what would oh, that be? Geez. Would that just be a strength roll? Uh. Um. Um. You got Tavern Brawler, right? So yeah, it would be one d four plus your strength. Okay. One d four plus my strength. So That's it's a two five, plus five. what? Five? five. Okay, five. so, so Winkhelm, Winkhelm, you take five points of bludgeoning damage as Kyle decks you. My goodness. Oh, I don't even need to have prep a BBG. The BBG's gonna be each other, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say oh, jeez. And yeah, as soon as he decks him, he does he he start as, as he hears a horn goes off, he's he just starts running towards Nico. Oh gosh. Uh, oh, uh, I'm gonna have to uh, step uh, in and actually tell people to stop being children. <laughs> so Bryce and I set out at the at the like before we even created our characters to make a set of buddy cops. <laughs> uh, so all right, so this is what we got. This is what we wound up with. Okay, so you guys, so it 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 take it takes you a couple more. It takes you well. You're on foot, so it does take you a bit longer. Um, you guys actually don't even reach the swamp. The orc tribe, which is traveling on wheels, catches up to you fairly quickly. Kyle just stays back. Um, he just Kyle's in the back, and he's just like brooding a wee bit. Uh, how how you, is uh, how is Wilhelm you, how handling with that may, may haymaker he just got decked with? Um, well, Wilhelm just tried to do a shocking grasp at you, Kyle. So no, I did not. That was a misclick. <laughs> okay. I was trying to figure um, out. I was trying to make myself figure out how to get myself to uh, do, uh, apply the damage, and I just misclicked. Okay, that's fair. Um, all right. So, yeah, as you two are bickering, um, you guys see what appears to be a covered wagon flanked by about four orcs, uh, two in two in two in the front, and then two in the back. Oh, so this is a really small war band. There, there appear uh, to be there. There appear to be people inside the wagon as well. I am loving I'm gonna cast Mage Hand. <laughs> okay. Nico walks into the middle of the path in front of the wagon. Um. You, you see the two. You see the two orcs up at the up at the front, kind of level their spears at you, Nico. Guys, it's me, Nico. Presumably, I would—I think I would know their names. Um. Yes, you would. Let me roll. roll well, let me. Let Let me roll random, random name generator roll. here. Uh, yeah, for how integral they are to my backstory, I don't know any of their names, even the chief. So, uh, you you know you know the you know the chief's name is Sark. Sark. Yeah, peek behind the curtain. We just said there was an orc tribe and have been winging it from there. Um, yeah. So the two guards, uh, one is named Keth, K-E-T-H, and the other one is named Varg, V-A-R-G. Keth and Varg are the two guards with their spears pointed at you. Um, and they're going to try and see if they remember you. So... While this is happening, I'm going to cast uh, Disguise Self, which I'm just going to pull up a bandana over my face. <laughs> okay. I love it. <laughs> oh, by the way. The bandana of disguising. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, they have no clue who you are, Nico. Like, eh? you're an elf. We don't like elves. Yeah, I know you don't, but you need to let me in to see Sark, or he's going to tan both your heads. Oh, big pointy ears thinks he's gotten in with the boss, Varg. I know Sark. He's my mentor. Sure you do, bud. I am going to use Mage Hand to... uh, uh, 
uh, is, uh, do some uh, shenanigans to the uh, axle. Uh, I don't know oh. what you would put uh, of the of the uh, wagon underneath. Um. Okay, that makes sense. The um the the wheel and axle are are less than ten pounds, so you can interact with that with the mage hand. Um. So what exactly are you are you trying to do? Like break the wheel or what? I'm trying to make it so that if they start heading off again, they can't. Uh. It doesn't really work exactly. Also, this is telekinetic mage hand, so I right. can push with a strength check. With it, oh, I, um, no, it's a strength saving throw, which I don't know how that interacts. Um, I can do a, and I'm not sure precisely how that would interact. Uh, yeah. But I like I guess, uh, but I figured that if pushing a, uh axle down uh, up, uh, away when it's kind of stuck in place could uh, crack it. I might like, or okay. there's no Okay, right, yep. I see, I see. Um, so, so, Keth kind of looks at Varg and he kind of leans, leans back to the interior of the wagon and he's like, Hey boss, there's an elf here. He says he knows you. As a improv weapon. An elf? So he's going to have to What's have his name? You know? And Varg just kind of looks at you, Nico. Nico. He says his name's Nico, boss. Oh, yeah, yeah, Nico. Um, yeah, hold on, hold on. And you see uh, Sark step out of the wagon. He is covered in tattoos. There are tattoos of lightning bolts and boar's heads and um, spears and skulls that are just decorate his body like a fine piece of art. He has no clothing, um, just a little loincloth around his privates. Uh, and he kind of he kind of looks at you with a grizzled expression. Hey, what do boss, you want, kid. So I. Uh... I lost the drow tattoo. I don't have their, their thing anymore, but I got something new. Check this out. And he dances up and he takes, uh, I don't, I don't want to call them shadow punches, tattoo punches. I'll come up with a better name for that. Um, but the tattoos on his body flush into the ground like shadows. And as, or no, no, they, they go out into the air like, like shadows in the air. And as he punches, it reaches out 15 feet and he just punches like a rock. That's lying on the ground, sends it flying into the woods. That neat, huh? is that is impressive. Um, yeah, uh, Nico, um, the grizzled teeth, uh, we don't need you anymore. What do you mean? You've been replaced. We've we've we found someone to take your place. We don't need you in the tribe anymore. Found another elf. We don't, we don't um, have any elves. I, Who's your ambassador? Who's I've, your liaison? I've I've always been highly skeptical of hiring elves and recruiting them into the tribe. But uh, yeah, it's it's not an elf. Um, oh, Mongo! And you hear the wagon just creak. Almost as if the entire, the entire vehicle is about to just snap under the weight of the pressure of this creature. And he steps out. He pokes it out and he's like, "Food? No, not food. We're not there yet." Nico, I'd like you to meet Mungo, and uh, you see um, what appears to be a, I'll say about an eight foot giant hop down from the cart in the back you replaced me with a brute he can't do anything i can do he can't infiltrate town he can't talk to taverns he can't get you intel he can't we've replace tried... me at all what are you what we've the hell are you doing we've, we've tried that for centuries these elves hate us hate us just as much as we hate them the time for talking is over nico 
I don't hate you. Well, that's your mistake. <laughs> And uh, um, go ahead and give me a deception check, Brian, to see how you're. Um... Actually, no. I'm gonna have. I I I I'm I'm gonna have Sark roll an investigation check to see if he can see through your disguise. That's how the spell is supposed to work. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let me have. Ooh. Okay. Um. Uh, what is your spell save DC, Brian? Fail save DC. Uh, 13. Okay, that is a net one, so he doesn't recognize you. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kyle's in the far back, and he you see him just slightly smoking. He's watching Nico's words, and just watching how Nico's yeah. interacting with all this. You have been replaced, Nico. We need muscle, not guile. I'll show you fucking muscle. Is he is he within range of me? Um, yeah. When he says that, I'm I'm punching I, him in the face. I'm rolling. When he says, hold on. When he says, "I'll show you muscle," I'm going to cast hold person on him. Hold uh, person no, on, on on Nico? No, on the uh, orc. Uh. Okay. Because uh, apparently that's what we're doing. Kyle pulls out his great sword. Um, so that is a wisdom save, correct? What's your spell save DC? Uh, that is a. Why is why is why is why is my spell save being uh? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. We will soon. Um, we have an, actually a that is a that is a natural twenty with the wisdom save. He is not paralyzed, and I need everyone Silvery to barbs. roll initiative. Silvery barbs. You know me. Oh. Silvery barbs. Oh, that's true. That is true. Wait, but why are we doing this outside of combat? We're about to go into combat we're, because no one has actually done anything yet, and the combat hasn't. We're trying. We're about to initiate combat. Someone's about 17. to throw a first punch. So, even 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 with the silvery barbs, that's a seventeen. Okay, and I'm going to give a uh, advantage to uh, Nico. Okay. Um. Okay. So uh, this, I will de I will technically consider this a surprise round because uh, Sark was not prepared for. I mean, he was prepared for combat, but he was prepared for combat against civilians, not. Adventures. So go ahead and uh, do an attack roll with um, with advantage there, Nico. Do I get my second uh, attack since I have multi attack now? Um, no, no, just 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 my the one for gosh, a surprise. For a... Um... Huh? A plus seven to your attack. You sound jelly. I am jelly. <laughs> Mom, um, dude, okay, I got so... I got tattoos now that punch for me. Like <laughs> I'm awesome now. Ego through so... the roof. Also now that now that we're uh, breaking the wall again, that was freaking amazing dialogue, Adam. Um, yeah, so the 19 definitely hits, and he takes 10 damage. Okay. Um, throws his head he back goes, real quick. And he goes, Mungo, defend me! And you see Mungo grow from 8 feet tall to 16 feet tall. Look, it's Goliath! <laughs> I just always let Mongo as a reference to, and I hate you for it. Can I just, can you know, just put that out there now? Is <laughs> <laughs> Shrek too? Yes. <laughs> Are one for initiative now? Yes, I am getting combat prepped here, so give me a moment. Kyle, how you expected it? 
I I don't know what I was expecting, but <laughs> I was not expecting this. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, okay. Um, all right. So let me grab. I grab Mongo. Um, let me grab Mongo and let me grab Sark. I did not get time to make um token art for sark which made me sad because i was planning some really cool orc barbarian stuff for sark but it is what it is um so okay all right <laughs> Um, and then Foundry is being incredibly slow for me tonight. I'm, I apologize, guys. Same here. You know what? This is fine. I don't need extra enemies. I'm gonna see how well I do with just these. Oh my gosh. Foundry just crashed. Oh boy. You know what that means? I'm for a quick little hydration break. Yep. Go ahead and go ahead and take five. I will try and get Foundry to freaking unfreeze. Um, yes. I apologize for this internet. Uh, tonight's, tonight's game has been sponsored by absolutely no one because I'm not famous yet. Um, okay. Shut down Foundry, so hopefully. Come on. Oh no, Foundry crash! <laughs> Foundry crash, yes! Let's go. Oh, no. Come on. It's a meme, Bronica. Don't I look at me a... like that. I had, I, I had, a, I had a whole quoting? other scene. I had a whole other scene planned, Dave, but this. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's Hasht it's it's totally fine. Hashtag it's totally railroading fine. the campaign. Let's go, boy. <laughs> oh, that was that was great improv. Right. I had I I didn't really know any of the details of Nico's own back. Like I don't even know my own backstory with that. So like we came up with the backstory as it became relevant in the conversation there, as far as I was concerned. So that turned out great. Yep. Um. I love how his demeanor okay. changed as soon as he started talking to the boss elf too. His whole affect changed. Uh, as if Is it someone weird told you. I knew that was coming. As if someone told you in advance, hey, this is gonna happen. And you're like, nah, it ain't gonna happen. Proceeds to happen. No, no, no. <laughs> but he wasn't ready to hear us. I mean, I mean, Nico's, Nico's affect. <laughs> and he, he's gotta learn. He, he's learning. <laughs> He's doing something all right. I don't oh. know how much he's learning. He's, I, I love this pattern. Nico, like some situation comes up. Kyle tells Nico the right answer. Nico ignores him and goes to learn the hard way. Teenagers, man. It's as if that Kyle has to... been through this before. <laughs> that do, This does seem to be um, Nico's shtick. So. <laughs> he's a teenager. Probably... He's a broody boy. That'll probably be their joint arc is Nico learns to trust Kyle and starts actually <laughs> listening to his advice. The moment Nico trusts Kyle, Kyle leads him down the bad path. And that's why <laughs> Granny's there. I think that uh, someone, I think that Granny's arc is going to be uh, the development from a mouse to a rat. A what? What? A what? <laughs> Ronica, read oh. the boundary. Argument that symbolically, like she's gonna stop being nice and start being mean. You're gonna turn from a mouse into a rat. Yes. But rats I, are I can, nice. I, I can see rats. Granny at, at some point just snapping. Fun fact of the game: hashtag We had rats <laughs> okay. in real life. 
I, I can actually see that happening yeah. too. Because Brian like deflects everything <laughs> that's directed his way. Like he's always deflecting, but like here, like one time he's it's, it's been too much. One okay. of these times, um, he's not going to say equip, he's just going to shoot the cannon. <laughs> Do it! Fire it! Do it with the cannon! He's just, he's just going to say, you know what? They, better yet, if that ever happens, I'm just going to say there can only be room for one of us. There isn't enough room for the two of us. <laughs> Alright, well, Foundry is up again. In the, in the back of the classroom, and he's got his backpack with all his artificer stuff. <laughs> Is Foundry up yet? Because I can't get in. Yes, I so. yes found, Foundry is I hope he sees his dad here. I was expecting Nico and Brian to bond a little bit over both knowing this dude. Nah, Brian does not know his father that well. Wait. He's yeah. mostly shoved like, those memories into the deepest parts of his brain to. Hold on a right, second. Like he's, he's technically your father, and then he, like, he raised me for a few years. And then <laughs> that that's okay, okay, then. If anything, he probably, he probably he he definitely enjoyed your company more than he ever did Brian's, so Right, but now we both can get in. Can you click the link again? That's true. Uh Veronica okay. can't get in. Oh, that's a hill giant. I was like, why does the hill have a turn? <laughs> Wait, okay. I'm a shit. what? <laughs> okay, I gotta reload yes. boundary too. Yeah, uh Veronica yeah, can't wrong. get in. Mongo I'm in, I think giant. I'm in the wrong place. No, no, it, it just abbreviated it to hill. So I was like, why is why are we fighting a hill? <laughs> there we go. Um, um, okay, so hang on real fast. Hang on. Um, yeah. Veronica and I can't get in. Like I, I got okay. in. Close, for a close the close the browser. I think I'm in the wrong. Try. I think I'm in the wrong part of Foundry. Um. Oh. I'm still loading in. I can. Yeah, the 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 only one the only one I see in on the on the map is is Brian. So okay, I'm loading in. Okay, I click on my name. I don't know how I got in here. It is. Where the heck am I? It is. Oh, it's not responding for me. Oh no, nope, there it is. Closing the browser worked. Yeah, that's what it did. For oh me. my goodness, I can see the map now. <laughs> ah, see, it loves you even more now. Uh, He's everybody's real name except mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm trying. I'm uh, I'm at a gray screen now. It's give it, give it some time, and I know it'll load. Okay, I put I put everyone's tokens on the, I I put everyone's tokens on the map, so you guys should have map view okay. here. Um. I, oh boy, there's noises. And then, as soon as you are able, please roll. As soon as you are able, please roll initiative. Yes, I'm trying my... Yeah, I, I muted the Foundry website because those noises kept catching me off guard. Hey, yo, let's go at the 20 initiative. <laughs> oh, I was darn. watching and waiting for too long. You know what would be a neat rule was if uh, you, okay? you could spend... Uh, equivalent turns before combat, like preparing and like gain like a plus to your initiative. So Maybe it's like it is plus three. Day, isn't it? Like if you're like watching a situation and like you I'm know sorry. it's about to boil over, you can like prepare to jump in and have a higher initiative. Wait, what? Okay. Um... I, was, I was proposing a homebrew rule. Uh... Wait, you said jump in anywhere? That's a uh, that's a pugilist feat, actually. If you want to, you can actually a pugilist feat feature. You can actually just jump wherever you want. It's a subclass. You can actually jump wherever you no, want. I was, initiative. I was talking about like if you're in a situation, you can like instead of doing any other action, you can like prepare for combat and get like a plus one d four to your initiative. Oh. Like if that's what you're doing when combat starts. I see what you mean. The one I the, the initiative style I've enjoyed before is a uh, popcorn initiative. Hey, uh, What's that? Adam, just give you this to let you know real fast. I don't see yes. any tokens. Do you have fog of um? Do you have it to where we can see the map? I can't see. I, any, I, I oh, see the map, but I, I don't see any tokens. Likewise, I see. 
I see the map. Oh, that's. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, you gotta hold turn on. on a certain setting and then found you to do that. Swamp. There we go. I still don't see anything. There we go. Now we're. Nope. Yeah, what? I still don't see anything. Uh, give it Sorry, a second, Monica, Let me go ahead and adjust the. Yeah, because if you go to input, you should be able to check. Is it like what? Fog of War or. Um... Oh, let me go one second. Let me open my foundry up real fast. Yeah, perfect. Vision, vision enabled. Oh, I can't see anything. Um, you guys can't hear me chewing, can you? No. Can you really awkward if you no. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, I mean, um, yes, I can hear you chewing. <laughs> yeah, every, everything should be fine. You, I mean, the, the I tokens aren't like invisible or nothing. So. Where's my token? Try on the game. Hang on, I'm, I'm, I'm putting in my foundry and seeing what's going oh, on. Oh, there he is. Your token is right here, Linko. Let's see. Turn it up into him. Okay. I don't know if you noticed, Bryce, but Nico called the the orc boss. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. Kyle totally heard that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, do you, okay, do so you can, want me to... Still not see... Okay. Okay, I can finally see everything. Do you see player tokens? Yes. I don't see yeah. that token. Do I need to refresh again? I can see everything. Try it. Gosh. I'm refreshing right now. No, try, re try refreshing, Bryce. It's got to be something on your end. Oh, oh, how dare you. How dare you accuse me of Oh, being... I refreshed and it worked. Wow, Mongo is Mongus. He's, He's very big, yes. He's a corn-fed hillbilly. <laughs> you don't notice the arrows in the pool, but a it's a terminology you use whenever a country kid's jacked beyond belief for no yes, reason. I know the terminology, thank you. I'm good, good. Make there's sure you a, know. There's a kid like that in my freshman <laughs> class in college. He was also smart as a whip. Okay, I see everything now. I'm good to go. Okay. He lost like 50 um, pounds by senior year. And... He's like a 6'4". Okay, I huge think... Huge and slim and yeah. smart and just terrifying. Uh, okay, like so GK Kyle, Chesterton. Brian, Winkhelm, uh, Nico, Granny, did you roll initiative? Oh, my bad. By the way, uh, uh, I don't know I'm not seeing in, the, in the, the turn order. Be stupid enough. Are uh, these other guys supposed to be at near death? Yep, that's on purpose. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. I rolled that's, initiative. That, that's on purpose. Yes. Okay, so we've got everyone now. Um, Wait, am I the last one to go again? Oh, no. Hey, you're not the last <laughs> And, all right. Combat begins. Sark is going to enter into a rage as a bonus action because he is a barbarian. Oh, barbarian versus barbarian. Let's go. So he's going to rage. Rage. And he is going to go, and because he is high enough, he has a lot of he, he has a lot of movement as a high level barbarian. Um, Brian, you see your father get right up in your face. Oh, fantastic! And he's like, he's like, well, you're an orc siding with these elves, so you need to die first. All right, so it's confirmed it is his father. Yes, but we don't know. I guess that. none of us know that. Nope. Nope. The only person that knows that is Brian. I'd say, you see Brian, like, wince a little bit. But, like, <laughs> otherwise he doesn't have much of a reaction. He doesn't want to drop the disguise. Okay. So this is uh, two attacks with the great axe. Oh, fantastic. And screw it. And, <laughs> and screw it. He's going to go reckless. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, awesome. boy. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. That we is a 19 for the first two. We can't see his roll. Yeah, yeah, that hits. We can't see your yep. rolls, Adam. Okay. Um, you have it on there private. There we go. Yes, that, that definitely it. hits. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> 19 hits. And reckless again. He does. Oh, 19. Tw not natural. 24 Ooh. hits. Yep. I got you, Brian. Don't worry. That is 12 for the first attack. All right. Oh. And 
15 for the second. Oh, that's not so bad. So 27 points of damage total to you, Bran. Okay. And as a free action, he's going to try and peer through your disguise again. Understandable. Killing his own son. <laughs> yeah, he still doesn't know who you are. <laughs> Imagine getting yeah, bullied yeah, by yeah. your father, and his he doesn't even know who you are. He took I'm everything to be. He has, I'm gonna get folded. He has no idea who in the world he, who in the world I am. I know you're coding, right. Nico. I know what you're coding there. Kyle, you're up. I have no idea who you are. <laughs> Kyle is also gonna go into guess what? A rage. Rage. All right, and then he's gonna walk up to. Ah. He's gonna come up, be like, "Hey, pick on someone your own size, ugly." Okay, so that was a bonus action. Oh, I can't do my maneuvering. No. Right? Or can I? Yep. You. Um. Well, no, wait, no, I, mean, well, I can technically, yeah. no, okay, no, I can actually, it is not, it is not, I can just do whatever I want, so, like, I can do a maneuvering dice, this is, when I hit a creature with a weapon attack, you're gonna spend one superior die to attempt to disarm a target. Okay, yeah. Okay. okay, so what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna go ahead and attack him. Okay. Uh, uh, since he reckless attacked, I have advantage on him. Yes. Okay, so on that, I'm going to go ahead and dish out my damage. That's yep. 10 damage, and now I'm going to okay. do a disarming attack on him to make him drop his weapon. Okay. He passes. <laughs> um, and then... Uh, that is all I can do. All right. Wait, oh, wait, no, I can't burn another superior die, can I? You can. Um, I don't... You can burn all of your superior dice in one turn if you want. Nah, I'm not going to hold off. I could, does yeah, he's right. I could them? theoretically do that, but I'm not going to. Yeah, so this orc here is like, hey, you pick on somebody your own size. <laughs> And he's gonna bop bop. Come up with that by yourself, did you? Kyle. <laughs> oh, that's 16. a hit. Hit, Kyle? Okay. That is oh, max that's damage. Max damage roll. Wait, half damage, though. Ha ha! Half damage. Yes, because you're raging. That's right. Let's go. Oh, that's right, and that should be half damage for uh, Sark as well, too. I forgot that. Because he's raging. Um, well, is he also a totem warrior? No, if no, he's a regular they're... barbarian, they all take bludgeoning. They have resistance to bludgeoning. Bludgeoning, slashing. right. Yeah. And piercing. So... And, well, you dealt slashing damage with your great sword. Yeah, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Yeah, that's slashing. the three that all barbarians oh, all, are. All barbarians get resistance? All barbarians are. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Total okay. is everything um, except for a psychic. Right. Um, okay. Um, okay. So that is the end of that orc's turn. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Nico, you're you're up. All right. Then you can replace me, Tubbo. Nico dances this way. And let's see. Actually, he dance. He dances a little closer. <laughs> That's 10 feet there. And we get three strikes on this fella. Okay. That hits. That misses. That hits. Yeah, roll these dice. Nine and six. And then Nico 
keep scooting. I guess I'm out of, I'm kind of out of map here, but oh, so you're um, this way. Wait a sec, wait a sec. Um, opportunity attack if you move. He wasn't. I was 15 feet away from him. Yeah, he was 15 feet. Unless he has a range of 15 feet. He has a range of. He has a range of 10. Okay, so. Ah, you got. We bobbing right. and weaving today, boys. Okay. Orc number two. I didn't have time to name them all, so. Orc number two. Um. This guy. Source of experience. It's gonna go rop and bop, bop, bop. Up to Brian here. Oh, lordy. Brian, if you got something up your sleeve, and now is the time. <laughs> really getting jumped. <laughs> and. Hey, this is your backstory, Zach. Don't blame me. No, I know. Jump his ass. 13. That's gonna miss. All right. Um, and that's it for him. That's all he can do. So. Fantastic. Okay. Um, Nico, you don't happen to know Giant, do you? No. Okay. Ooh, um... let me check if I do. There's a small chance I might. Let me check. I... Um, so Nico, you hear Urban and Gerber Derber Berber. Fascinating. <laughs> I am. Yo, that's my favorite spell. <laughs> Here, hold up, guys. Nope. You good, Carbite? You went that much paint and egg? Did it coffee give you some cakes? So it's the egg. I'm sorry. Carbite, you there? Nico! Nico, you there? Did he fall asleep? Oh, he muted himself. Really? I think he's got. I, I, I think that's he's, a, he's he's muted. I think he's got. I think he's got company. Um, ah. Shoot. Because the giant was about to attack him. Anyway, moving on, I'll get back to the giant's turn when Dave, when Carbite comes back. Granny, you're up. <clears throat> Let me go over here. Mm -hmm. uh, game is paused. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Me, I can't move. It says game paused. You moved it to my no, turn. It's... Well, it's not. I can move you. <laughs> no, you moved it to my turn instead of her turn. No, that's why. It's Granny. Granny, now move around. I want to go here. You can move now. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, and touch, uh, cure wounds on my friend. Thank you. Okay. Um, what, what level cure wounds? Because that does, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but. Okay, so just the first level. Uh, that should be 2d8. The, the description is wrong. They buffed the healing spells, so go ahead and roll healing there, Granny. That is 12 health back to you, Brian. Fantastic. And then I'm going to keep going. Okay. I'm gonna move right here. Okay. Ooh, Granny getting all up in comfort. And I'm gonna try Word of Radiance. It's a second spell. Okay. It's a cantrip. Um, you can't do that because Cure Wounds is not a bonus okay. action. For me, uh, is it my turn? Oh darn it! I meant to do Healing Word. Sorry. Oh. It is uh, my turn. Good. David's, ba David's back, by the way. Um. So do you want to flip flop the Cure Wounds for Healing Word then? Yeah. Okay, I will delete the cure wounds then. Go ahead and undo the spell slot and then cast healing word. Uh, 
Okay, roll the healing. Okay, so instead of 12 health, you get 8. Oh, that should be 2d4. No. Go ahead and roll an extra d4 there, Granny. I don't know why the spell isn't responding properly. Go ahead and roll another d4 plus 4. Or no, um... Yeah, so 10. 10 points of healing to you, Brian. 10 points of healing? Yeah. Okay. And 10 points instead of 12. And then um, I'll do Word of Radiance. Okay. On whom? Well, it's the five foot sphere. Um, but it won't, it's creatures of my choice, so that works. Right. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do their spell save as a group just to speed things up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop the Word of Radiance into chat so I can get the save. Thank you. I'm going to do them as a group. And... Okay, so that one fails. There's only three of them, so I'll do it originally. That one succeeds. And... And that one succeeds. Um, so they take half, right? If they succeed? Uh, I don't think they take anything. Um, oh, okay, or take. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So this one is dead. The other two are fine. All right. Um, going back to the giant's turn. Uh, Carbite, are you still there? Yes. Okay, so the giant moved up to you, and he's going to attack you. Um, two swingity swings with the great club. Fifteen. Miss. Oh, man, it was almost an 18. That is 13. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, dodged. Range. Nice miss. All right. Loser. As a bonus action, he is going to attempt to grab you. I need you to make a dex save. <laughs> Go ahead and click the dex save button there, Nico. Yeah. All right. So he tries to bend down and you're just like, whoop. Okay. Back to the initial turn order here. Uh, Granny, was that it for you? Uh, yes. Okay, Wink Helm, you're up. I'm going to begin with blade singing. With, uh, shake my tambourine to get going. Play that, okay. uh, dance to that song that we heard the other night. Um, make those moves. Um, okay. And then I am going to cast, um, let me see if I've got prepared. I, uh, let me see if, I, that's, if I've got prepared is what I think I've got prepared. Uh, mm. Okay. Okay. Um, I am going to cast Flaming Sphere on the troll. Or okay. Whatever. The giant, the giant or whatever he is. Giant. Yep. Okay. Um, uh, it's a second. <coughs> uh, and I'm going to place it right here. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, around, uh, and then I'm going to as an action, and as a bonus action, I'm going to slam it into him. Okay. So um, the damage goes to what? Uh, he has to make a dex. It's hard to read this sometimes. We'll just plop the flaming sphere there. Actually, yeah, actually I can't make the bonus action ability because I already used my. Uh, uh, but he may. Uh, I'm pretty sure that he takes damage just by being near it, if I remember the spell Correct. correctly. 
I can also slam it into him for extra damage. Right. Um, so how much damage does he get for the ball just being there? I'm trying to get the ball to... It's not... Please. Um... Um, it's not being pulled up for some reason. Um, I'm going to pull it up on... Take, uh, okay, it takes... Uh, creature must take a dexterity save and then 2d6. Right. So I wasn't pulling oh. up on... Uh, Foundry. For um, some reason. Okay. I don't... So... Dexterity saving throw. That is a 17. All right. Is it, is it half on success or no? Um, it is. <laughs> it is half on a success, yes. So four points okay. of. All right. Sorry, Because yeah, he looks Why like he's more sudden, troublesome. So I'm going to put that there. Sudden. Okay. And that will suffice. Alrighty then. Could you drink some Brian! You're getting the crap beat out of you, my friend. What are you doing? Yep. Uh, so I am sitting on my Eldritch Cannon. Yes. Uh, um, the... What what form uh, is your cannon taking at the moment? It's in um, Force Ballistae. Okay. I will pull up that right there. Horse Ballistae? Force. I mean, yeah, technically, yeah, for horse ballista. I'm riding on it, so. Uh, wow. so, using uh, yeah, I'll just do that. Uh, so first off, I'm going to attack with my spear. Okay. A 16 hits Sark. Fantastic. Hey, not bad. Remember half. But Remember, he, it's half. But he, is, but he is raging, so that is halved. Yes. And then, uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to shoot him with the cannon. Nice. So, I need a save. What kind of save, my good sir? Uh, force is a dex, I believe. Let me double check. Hey, uh, just be a rule, Nancy, here. He did reckless attack, so he does have a va whoever's attacking um, him does have advantage, so he can attack with that cannon with advantage. Oh, yes, you're right. Okay, no, it is okay, so yeah, so I have to roll to attack him, and then he has to make a dex save to see if he gets pushed backwards. Okay, or, yeah, he has to make a con save to see if he gets pushed backwards. So See, will Foundry let me attack with the cannon? I think if you click if you click on Use the cannon token, ability. the little thing, the little thing right next to you. Um, what do you mean it has no uses remaining? Ammunition. That's to ammunition. That that's 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 to summon the cannon. Um, if you if you click on the cannon token, you might be able to control it, Zach, right next to you. Uh. When it's I do it, it does not tell me anything. Hmm. I need to give you control over your cannon. That's my fault. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Blah, 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 blah. Let me just go attack. And if the target is oh, a creature. Oh, never mind. It just works if it hits them. I can't read. Um. Okay, yeah, so go ahead and make a um, make a ranged 20. spell attack. So um, this would be 1d20 plus 3 plus your intelligence modifier. So whatever your spell attack roll is, for like Firebolt or whatever, would be the yeah. same thing for your Force Ballista. Okay. Um, okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, 
already. That hits. Oh boy. So. Well, Eleven points of force damage halved. All right, is that it for you, Brian? Uh, after I do this, I'm gonna look at my father and be like, "Not so much of a young weakling now, am I?" Um, and it's at this point your disguise self spell fades. It's been going on long enough. <laughs> um, he kind of blinks and he's like, "You were supposed to be dead." The drow were supposed to kill you! <laughs> Could have been just like give a wink and be like, yeah, but you know, mate, I'm pretty good at getting out of some very sticky situations. And this one is going to go up and bop um, Kyle. Ah, it's about time the coward finally faces me. This oh, boy, yeah. it gets flanking. Do it, pansies! Fight me! All right. Um. Hmm. Great axe with advantage because you did reckless. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? Nope. Mm -mm. Oh. Because he reckless, Kyle didn't have to. <laughs> Aha! I tr trust me. I, that's a miss. That's a third. That's a thirteen. They're just like, nur, nur, nur. stupid pointy ears. I to put it better myself. Stupid ugly face. All right, that is back to the top of the round. Could Kyle and... intimidate him? This, so instead of attacking Brian, he could attack him. Go ahead and roll with disadvantage. Brian's family. This is personal. <laughs> this is incredibly personal. <laughs> It's never Sorry, been it's... more personal. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not moving his target. Um, all right, Brian. Woo! <laughs> Bye, and... Brian. And screw it, reckless. Oh, oh, that is a crit! Oh, oh a crit. Lord. Bye, yeah, I'm, Brian. I'm... Bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a twenty-six. 26 damage? No, 26 to hit with the second attack. So oh. that also hits. Let's yeah, focus on the first. Uh, I can't even shield that. Yeah, so that is 22 points of damage for the first attack with the crit. Yeah, I'm dead. After the I second did. one, most likely. And damage on the second. He could just kill him that outright is... right here, Ronica. Okay. That is a six. Oh. oh my god, you did exactly. So you fall exactly unconscious. You're not dead, dead. You're just unconscious. I'm just unconscious. Well, and you'd have to do a lot more than that to kill you outright, right? You'd have to be happy like, to This is what you get. He's like, this is what you get for betraying the orc ways and consorting with elves. <laughs> <laughs> you consorted with an elf. I did what I had to do. <laughs> Pathetic. You are pathetic work. Kyle, your friend just fell unconscious. Yeah, Kyle's not. Oh, he's not my friend. He's like an acquaintance. He just fell unconscious. <laughs> but he's still mad about that. So. <laughs> okay. What you doing? Ooh. Okay. Okay. Shenanigans. Let's freaking go. Oh, you know what? I forgot about restless endurance. I'm going to do that. Oh yeah, that's right. So you pop back up to one health. Yeah, I'm better. I'm gonna like go down for like a split second, just pop back up immediately. <laughs> Your dad is just cute. <laughs> okay, let's do this. All right, Kyle is going to attack, but the, well, since he reckless, Kyle has advantage. Yes. So that's a hit. Here's his damage. All right. Oh. Kyle okay. is going to um, burn his axe and surge. Okay. Going to attack again with advantage. Okay. Yep. That hits. Damage. Okay. And then he is um, 
going to do a trip attack on him. Uh, he needs to make a, sa a strength saving throw. I don't think prone actually helps okay. us at all. It helps us meleeers. It well, you already us... have advantage against him. Yes, I know, but um, I'm planning on making him... I was going to do a trip attack, and if he fails, I was going to do a disarming attack. Oh, he passed. Well, anyway, he's also going to go ahead and try to disarm him. Okay. Gosh darn it. He's a strong boy. Uh um, according to the according to the text there, you add the you add the superiority die to the damage roll as well. Oh you're right. Alright, how much extra damage? Um what is my superiority die? How many hits One did you land on this turn? I did uh let's see. Ten and 11, so I dealt uh, 21 damage total. Okay, so you used two superiority dies, so you get to add two of them to your... What is my superiority turn. die? Two, yeah, that, that's 1d8, so you roll, roll 2d8, and that's the extra damage. Yeah. Yeah, so just go ahead and roll 2d8. So that was 30 damage that Kyle just did to him. Those are rookie numbers. And he takes half of that because he's still raging. All right. Um... Are you, okay. Did I use my Is that the end of your turn, Kyle? Wait, did I use... I did use my bonus action to action surge. No, wait, no. That's not a bonus action. Nope. Um, uh, no, I want to save my second win. Okay, in my turn. Uh, All right. Orc number one over here, the one that isn't dead, is going to uh, wail on Granny. He's like, oh, I don't like magic. Magic is stupid. <laughs> you didn't go through, but it was hilarious. Magic is stupid. Oh, I hate magic. And... Oh, yeah, I said your face is stupid. There you go. You had your mic muted. <laughs> uh, that, uh, the... Uh, that is an 18 to hit you, Granny. Okay. Yep, that hits. Granny, you take 14 points of uh, bludgeoning damage. Or slashing damage, excuse me. Slashing damage. Alrighty. That's that. Nico, you're up. <clears throat> yes, me, Tono. Nico's going to dance around Mongo. Actually, he did this when he dodged the attack. I'm gonna kiss you again. To dance around Mongo. He's still in range, though. Yep. He's gonna go to frickin' town on this frickin' dude. You go to town on your replacement. All right. That hits. That hits. And I'm going to use Flurry to blow this turn. Okay. So I get to attack four times this turn. Yep. That hits. Yes. That's a miss. So three of those hit. So roll damage three times. Yeah, rookie numbers, Bryce. What you talking about, fool? You made the same as me, that was, almost. That was the same damage. Yeah, it was the same damage. What are you talking about? All Except right. Except I didn't have resistance, so I did twice as much. Ooh. <laughs> is that it for you, Nico? <laughs> that is all my. That is all my available I, actions. I, yes. I will also oh, say I am fighting against your boss. 
Right. Yeah, well, um, I have another issue over here, so... <laughs> This, Hope you get uh, uh, this, uh, this, or, this orc right here looks looks at Sark and he's like, "Do I kill him, boss?" And he's like, "No, my son is mine." So he's gonna go and wail on Kyle. Do it, you coward! You are so ugly. Oh my gosh, who would ever love something like that? No balls. You won't do it. You won't do it. Yeah, Kyle's just like, do, like, do it. What? What? And that's a miss. <laughs> That is unfortunate. <laughs> it's almost like Kyle was like trying to get him to him. Like, this is like, what you gonna do? You can't hit me. Not even if All I right. stand in front of you. Kale Giant's gonna go and play whack-a-mole with Nico <laughs> here. Um and now is that hold on, let me pop open his Okay, so that is an action. Um But that's not helpful. So, okay, two great club attacks. Nineteen to hit you, Nico. Yeah, that hits. Cool. And so for twenty-seven. What was that, Wink? Silvery barbs? Silvery barbs on the 27. Okay. And oh, I'm going to give control. advantage to... Uh... Okay, so those both hit. I need a strength save from you, Nico. Oh, man. I'm going to give advantage on this. You're giving me advantage on this strength save? Yep. Dope. Um, nope. that is a failure. You, you fall prone. So you are not oh, prone. Prone is fine. I can just get up first thing with half my movement speed, right? Um, yeah, it, it takes half your movement speed to get up. And now, let me scroll back up in the chat here. The damage. Seventeen for the first hit, and sixteen for the second. So that is thirty-three points of bludgeoning damage to you, Nico. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Oh gosh, I'm gonna be very busy healing everyone after this, aren't I? Yes, you are. And uh, he's going to try and grab you as a bonus action, so I need you to make a dex save, um, I believe with disadvantage because you're prone. He's going to eat you. Um, disadvantage on attack rolls. Doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't matter. You are not grabbed. You're, I'm you're still a on the ground. Boy. Right? You're still on the ground, but he didn't grab you. Okay, um, that is the end of the Hill Giant's turn. Um, but I believe he takes damage from the fireball again. Yep. Wait, well, how much damage did he do? Uh, uh, 33. 16? 33? Yes. 33. Um, yeah. Okay. So go ahead and roll your 2d6 there, Wink Helm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's garbage. Okay. okay. And... I turn. Yes, I believe so. Um, or no, uh, Granny. Granny is up before one count. Granny, oh, yeah. you're up. I'm gonna do the same thing as before. Word of radiance first. Okay. Word of radiance. Excellent choice. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna use deflect deflect attacks on one of his uh, attacks there. Okay. What does that do? Ah, uh, that's a nine for this guy. He's I, know, I was prone for his attacks because he knocked he knocked me down first thing, right? He, yes. Okay. Then I probably wouldn't be able to use that. Collect missiles. Uh. uh 
Plus missiles only block uh, range. That attack. is a success, so he's alive. It applies to melee now too. It's a buff to the monk. He's going to healing oh. word, but I'm gonna upcast it on Brian. And that is a that is a failure. So two orcs die under flaming radiance. They're just ah! okay. And healing word. No, 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 no! Take that back. I was gonna upcast it. Okay. Um. Yeah. So it's. I gotta go back in and change your healing word because it should be two d four plus four, and then another two d four per upcast. So what level are you casting it at? Second level. Second level. Okay, so that. Go ahead and do third level. Third level. Okay, so that should be six d four plus twelve. I guess I'll just do that again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um. So, uh, Brian, you gain back, looks like, 21 health. Fantastic. I'm not letting your dad kill you. <laughs> Is that it for you, Granny? Uh, yeah. Wink Helm, you're up. First things first, I'm going to cast... Uh, Mind sliver on the hill giant. Okay. He makes a DC 15 intelligence save. That is a 17. Are you serious? I'm not joking. You see it. <laughs> it's a smart orc. He, he has a brain. I'm going to Mom slam the... Uh, he I'm gonna know a lot, but what he does know. I'm gonna slam the fireball into him. Oh, the let me stare into him. Two d six. Um. Uh, make a uh deck save. Okay. That is a fifteen. All right, so he only takes three. Okay. That'll do. Oh my gosh. I thought I was being clever and using a... Ah. All right. Brian, you're up. All right. Granny, gr Granny keeps appearing to mutter prayerful words of encouragement that give you strength, but that's about it. <laughs> I mean, she's... She's the only thing that's keeping me alive right now, so <laughs> I'm not exactly complaining. Uh, so I'm going to do basically the same thing. So it, except for instead of using my spear, uh, I'm just going to do Firebolt because that does more damage. Um, That's a ranged attack. You sure about that? I mean, he's a point blank. It's kind of hard to miss. No, he doesn't have this. He has normal because uh, the Barbarian Reckless, so he has normal attack. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right, because he's reckless. Yep. So, doesn't matter. All right, go ahead, roll the firebolt. That is a hit. Go ahead and roll the damage. Fantastic. Two, two D10 fire damage. Yep. Wow, that was a oh, terrible yeah. roll, but... Oh, yeah, plus, plus, plus the 1D8 because of your arcane firearm. Um, yep. So that is half. Wait, oh crap, that was on the hill giant. Shoot. No, wait, so... now, wait a second. Is, this fi is he resistant to fire? Oh, that's right. It's not half because it's not. Thank you for catching I was about that. To say. <laughs> Thank you for catching that, Bryce. Yes. I'm, 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 I'm sorry if I'm constantly cr critiquing you with the barbarian. It's just, I know barbarian. <laughs> Yes. So in, a, does... in another game, I play Barbarian, and they're super. Okay. Super um, is that it for you, Brian? No, I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to shoot him with the ballista again. Okay. So go ahead and go ahead and roll the hit. I feel bad, but constantly, I just know a lot about Barbarians, you know. Um. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Fantastic. Uh, so hard right now. I gotta remember how much damage he does. Hold on. Two, uh, two D eight. Uh -huh. 
Four Thank you. Is it plus anything or is it just flat? Just flat, 2d8. Yep, just flat. So uh, go ahead and just roll, just roll 2d8. Yep. 13, hey, there's good right. damage. And he is not resistant to that, so... Uh, not a lot of things that are resistant to force. And he is pushed back 10 feet because the force just... Whoop. Yep. I don't get to make an opportunity attack if I push him away, right? Nope. No. Oh, it'd be funny. All right, is that it for you, Brian? Yeah, that's gonna be it. Okay, orky orc, the last orc that's surviving here is like, I will defend you, master, against this machine, but I need to take care of this elf first, and he's gonna whack on uh, Kyle here. Yeah, that is a twenty-three. That's a hit. You take 15 points of Half slashing down. damage. Halved. All right. And that is that. Moving on. At the top of the round, uh, the orc goes, Hey, boss, your wife is here. And Sark just goes, She's not my wife. We're not married. And Brian, you see your mother trudging out into the swamp. <laughs> Brian's just going to look up and just be like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just gets better and better. He's just, gonna, he's just gonna look around and he's like, Y'all, we may be in a bit of hot water. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do, I do not, I do not have a token. <laughs> yes, I do, I, do, I do not have a token for her, unfortunately. But um, she is going to actually act on. Um, Sark's initiative here. So she is going to let me pull up the dice here. Um although since I'm a half orc, is this my birth mother or is this my adopted mother? Th th this this is this is your birth mother, the one that sent you the letter. Yes. Okay. Um and she's gonna cast healing word on her son, and you gain um, Aww. you gain 11 health from your mother, Brian. Fantastic. I'm almost at full. Uh, your mom. And Sark is like, I told you not to help him. He is disowned from this family. And he is going to rush back in and he's going to burn another rage and start keep swinging it. Um, at Brian here. All right. That is a 13. That misses. And that is a 28. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, I can't do anything about that one. And oof, max damage. Oh boy. 17 points of slashing, Brian. Yes, I see that. Anyone else want to mess with me? And that is the end of his turn. Me! I do! I'll mess with you. Go for it, go for it, Kyle! Wait, what? Is it my turn? Hey, yes, it is my turn! turn. <laughs> it is your turn, yes. Okay. Kyle's gonna swing his great sword at him again, and since he, he did he reckless attack again? Yes, he did. Yep. Alright, so oh. advantage. So Brian was gonna ask if we could do this one-on-one, -on -one, but never mind. No, no, you're gonna die. I wanna help you. I'll be fine. <laughs> you're not looking so fine, sir. I'm best. I'm okay. Let's see, that's eight. And then I'm also going to attempt to do another disarming on him. Okay. And so then that's another 1d8 superiority die on me for damage. Yep. Oh, poop. It's one. <laughs> And I can't even have that, so. Um, strength saving throw. Come on, come on, just, just jump. Oh, wait. D oh, shoot. He has <laughs> advantage on this because he's raging. Wait, what do you mean? Barbarians, they get advantage on strength checks and saving throws. No yeah. freaking way. Yes. He rolled a five and he passed. He has a plus yep. nine? 
Oh my gosh. He, he is an orc. He is a powerful Dude. barbarian, Bryce. A powerful barbarian. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Is that it for you, um, Kyle? That's. Uh, burn all my superiority die. Um, he has a bonus action. Yep. I'm Ooh. going to second wind. Okay, second wind. Uh, that's it. And Nico, you're up. Hello. Uh, internet troubles here, so you'll have to move my uh -oh. character. Okay. But it's going to be. Very straightforward. Give me flurry yep. of blows. Four attacks. Okay. One target. Okay. So. That hits. That hits. That hits. <laughs> and that misses. Okay, so three of them hit. Oh, come on. I need to outdo Kyle. Okay, so seven. And eight is 15. Or 12, excuse me. 12 is 19. 7 and 12. And 5. 7, 12, 5. Okay. So 12 and 12 is 24. Okay. 24. Very nice. But he ain't down yet, is he? No, nope. he uh, ain't. He's looking real hurt, though. That's our bonus action. Yep. What you doing? I could uh, maybe else? use a hand over here, Granny. Well, that is have all. Stunning strike. Wait, did Nico not get up? Did no, Nico no. not get up? Oh no, he did get up. That was half his movement. Okay. But you know that would be a waste of an uh, attempt because his uh, constitution is way too high to even make the effort on a giant. Um, anything else for you, Nico? Oh, you're right. I uh, no stunning strike is only melee weapon attack. No, that's not true. You can so stunning strike with your fists. Yes, melee that melee works. Attack. Okay. Yes, you your, fist is, con your fist is considered a melee weapon. But you're, it's a con save, so it might be, not be the wisest thing against a giant. That's true. It's up to you, Nico. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Make a decision. You gotta survive till my, my turn. I mean, he's doing well, pretty good against this thing, honestly. Surprisingly, we're struggling well, doing this. He's doing even better. He's doing even better against me. Is the main problem. You could what try you to doing, run. Nico? Just, you stunning or not? You got your movement. You got half your move. Yeah, on. I'm gonna go for this. So. I'm gonna go for the stunning strike. Okay. So even if he succeeds, you still do get the force damage though. So. Nice. That is a 15. He succeeds, but you still do. It's, oh, it's silvery barbs. Okay. Um, yeah, 21. Okay, so... All right, I, I'm trying to uh, be helpful, and I'm going to give uh, the Project advantage... Four damage. I'm going to give advantage to... Why am I in... Oh, yeah. I'm going to give advantage to... Um... 
Who needs it? Uh, who needs advantage? Um, I mean, you want to give two? I should be fine yeah. without advantage, I think. I want to give it to Nico, but I also kind of want to give it to Brian. Well, or, you can uh, only give it to you can only give it to one, so. I'm gonna give it to Brian. Okay. okay. Well, um, I don't know if this is the right choice, but. Eh. All right. It is the hill giant's It'll turn. Be right either way. It is the hill giant's turn. The hill giant is going to use his special feature called the Great Club Sweep to try and knock you away. Um, I need you to give me a dex save, Nico. Okay, so... I, I rolled a three, um, not a one. Oh, that's just a fail, I see. Yes. Well... The one time I don't give you advantage. <laughs> you take 17 points of bludgeoning damage and are pushed 10 feet away. You also fall prone. I'm going to use deflect attacks on that. Okay. Uh, I reduce it by... Let me find it here. Just pretend deflect missiles is fine. That's not it. I'm just going to do it manually. D10 plus Dex, which is three, plus Monk level, which is six. Which is six. Yes. So, so 10, 10 plus one nine. nine. Yep. Okay, so you reduce. Okay, so that's reduced down to six points of damage. Thank but you, but you still are pushed away and all that fun stuff, and you are prone as well. Um, so, as he, that was that was the difference between living and dying. as he bops as he bops you down. Alrighty, that is the end of the giant's turn. I'll go ahead and roll the two d six there, Winkhelm. Okay. Rolling. Okay. All right. Granny, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna move closer. I definitely when this piracy forgets they have any kind of options. Here. And ca upcast prayer of healing, which will include everyone. Okay. Was I included on the last one too? No. Okay. Prayer of healing. I think that one got buffed. Let me check 5e tools. Let me, let me check 5e tools. I think Prayer of Healing got buffed. You can go ahead and cast it. I'm just double checking. So everyone gets 18 health. I'm only missing two health. <laughs> oh, I think I healed the enemy. Hey. You did heal the enemy. I don't want to, what, you want to fix that, Adam? Which enemy did Wait, you heal? Did it do it automatically, uh, or...? I don't know. I think I had him targeted. Which enemy did you heal? Uh, Brian's dad. I gave him 18 health. Yeah, please don't heal my father. Hi! <laughs> I mean, you can if you want, but it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> Miko needs to add 18 health. Uh, Brian, everyone needs to add 18 health. All right. Thank goodness. I'm okay. at full. I don't. 
I'm so glad we added you to the group. You are so nice. All right. I'm going to be ready for you. I'm going to have to see if I fit your position. You. Yeah, I think that's all I can do. Wink Helm, you're up. I. Mm, mm. The, the I, giant's not looking too good. I'm going to cast. Uh, oh boy. I'm going to cast uh, Mind Sliver on the giant. Okay. Um, EC 15 intelligence uh -oh. save. All right. That is a nat one. Go ahead and roll damage. Ah, oh, trash. Three damage, but um, then as a bonus action, I'm going to slam the uh, um, uh, fire. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna move the fire in uh, around. And okay. uh, also slam it into him because I can move it up to okay. thirty feet. I'm gonna move it around, yep. interposing it. Also slam it into him. Okay. Uh, I don't have control of the fire positioning, so can I? Okay. Um... Can I interpose it between uh, Nico and uh, the giant, and then slam it into him. Yep. Okay. Uh, does he need to make a save or not? Yep. Like he has to make a, de a deck. Uh, a uh, let me pull this up precisely. Uh, deck save, right? Da -da. Yeah, save. A uh, deck save fifteen. Okay. Deck save fifteen. Minus D four. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't matter. He failed. Oh. Uh, doesn't uh, doesn't matter. He failed. Um, okay. I save that D four. So uh. Okay, uh, how much damage does he take? One. On. Just being Ooh. goofy. Oh. oh, did we lose Speedy? Zach! Hey. You're about to die, <laughs> come back! <laughs> uh, Alright, um... Yeah, so how much hey, damage I'm with the... I'm trying to, it's just uh, being... Okay. Alright, there we go. Uh... Um, okay. Oh, eight, um, eight. Eight damage. Yeah, please describe how the Flaming Sphere kills the giant. Uh, the giant, uh, uh swivels its head with a headache, and the, uh, a flame, uh, slams, uh, goes, moves around, slams into it, and, uh, goes into, uh, uh, uh goes, uh, up its, uh, stomach and just bursts out like a, uh, like popcorn in uh, a burning popcorn bag. All right, that's that's okay. Fair. All right, he's dead. He's dead. Um, Sorry, you asked. Giant is dead. Brian, you're up. All right. Uh, well, I do have advantage. Yes. So I think I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just gonna firebolt. Oh wait, no, you don't have advantage. It's just flat because you're in melee with him. Yeah. Well, then actually, screw it. Then I'll just I'll attack him. Yeah, it's just flat. So wait, now he has okay. Yeah. Here. Advantage. Yeah, that shouldn't have advantage because it. No, he should. Oh, he should. He just, oh yeah. Yeah, you're I, right, I, I did a melee attack. You're right, because reckless. Um, um, okay, uh, 18 hits. Go ahead, roll damage. All right. That is a six halved to three. Fantastic. And then the cannon. So, uh, what kind of damage does the cannon do? Force. Wait. Won't he take full damage of that? No one's resistant to force damage. 
Well, Not yet. Some... He's been taking full damage to the cannon this entire Okay, time. good, 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 good. There's some very, very rare things that take the resistance. I know. Adam, does a 16 um... hit? Yeah, my foundry just froze, guys. Oh, frick. <laughs> How anticlimactic! Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to restart. I'm sorry, guys. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, 16 hits. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, and go ahead and go ahead and roll damage so I know what to. Fantastic. 2d8. Roll. Hello. Wait, how can we re-roll if we lost connection? Yeah, I just bet say oh. out of it. <laughs> I forgot that you guys lose connection every time I shut down Foundry. It's coming back, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh my gosh, yeah, you guys are definitely going to deserve level 7 after this. <laughs> uh, there is currently no active session. Okay, and we should be loading in in about right about I'm already in. now. Right. Everyone's so, having technical issues okay. today. My mouse just died, okay. so I'm doing this off my head. So, <laughs> okay, so 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 a sixteen hit. Go ahead and roll uh, damage. Hold on, I'm still good, dude. Okay, right, once back. you get in, roll oh. damage. I see a dark screen. Oh, wait, there we go. Loading and loading, loading, loading. There we go. 11 damage. 11 damage. Okay. 11 force. And that is full. So. Yes. And I don't know, I don't think he took the three from the spirit, didn't load, so I'll do that as well. Okay, you're, you're just glad I did, you're, you're yeah, just, yeah. Um, is that it for you, Brian? Yeah, that's all I can do. All right. This orc looks at you, Kyle, and he is just going to end you. Um, I'm at full health, but all right. <laughs> He doesn't know that. He's going to try. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to try, dang it. <laughs> I don't like magic. Magic is stupid. Urgh. I'm not using magic, you idiot. <laughs> Urgh, 24. Just blaming, that hits. just blaming Kyle for me and Granny's magic. <laughs> <laughs> and that is eight points of damage. Yeah. Halved because you're raging. And that's he looked at him like, ooh, big orc hit small. Shut up. <laughs> um, and, whew, yeah. Kyle's gonna, you know what, you know what, so, no, Kyle's gonna try, try to intimidate the dad again, just because, get him off, off of Brian. Okay, go ahead, roll with disadvantage, this is very personal. I know it's personal. Oh, that was a nat 20. Uh, Are you kidding me? That was, that was a nat 20. Yeah, no, nah. no, the, the, I'm unfortunately not. Um, I'm trying, Brian. That being, with that being said, it's going to be like you are going to learn the proper ways for orc tradition. But does he want to fight hand to hand? And he is not recklessing this time. Uh oh. Good, Kyle now. <laughs> uh, 24 to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. And, um, where is the add ability? Um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so, target is pushed. Hold on. Um, this is a new barbarian feature that I'm having trouble reading here. One moment. We love experimenting. Um. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. If that attack hits the target, ooh, okay, fun, funsies. All right, I'm satisfied. Um. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and roll second. I think you should reduce my speed. 13. Um, no. I'm going to do that, but regardless of reducing speed or whatever option I choose, you still take an extra 1d10 uh, damage. I know, but I can just hop on the cannon and move the same amount of speed anyway. So, um... <laughs> Scroll back up. Scroll back up to the damage here. And you take Yikes. 18 points of damage. Brian. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of damage. He's very consistent at doing 18. And that is the end of his turn. So like and, a, uh, my bones. And, and 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 Brian, you hear your mother go. By the way, I'm engaged. Since we were never married, I'm free to do that. <laughs> and you see your father just—he's more mad at your mother now than you. <laughs> Kyle, you're up. Right. Brian's gonna look at her and be like, well, it's about goddamn time. <laughs> Someone has to make her a special. Oh goodness. Okay. Uh, what see. you doing? Uh, what you doing? Uh, well, I'm almost out of all the abilities, so Kyle. Brian's gonna look over at Kyle and be like, "You gonna handle that orc over there? I got my father." No. Oh uh, yeah, I think he's well, he's absolutely beating you. Brian's uh, a little bit bloody. Been bloody bloody multiple times. He definitely hasn't had two heals that have been the only reason why he's alive in this fight. Alright, uh, <laughs> Kyle is going to attack his father with advantage. Reckless attack. Okay, reckless. Sounds good. That hits. He is raging, so that will be halved. Yes. I want him to die. All right. And, uh, Is that it for you? Da, 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 ba, ba. I am all out of abilities. All right. Nico, you're up. The hill giant is dead. Uh, what you doing? What, what you doing, Nico? Okay. Where are you moving? I got up to the other I can't move. The game's paused. Oh, my bad. There you go. Now you should be able to move. All right. Who you who you going for? Who you going for? What? You sound very We're robotic. The... Car. Sorry, there. Okay. Can you hear me now? Uh, try again. Can you hear me now? Try... Yep. Okay. 11 misses. Can you hear me? Adam? Yes. Y yes. Yeah. 11 misses. 11 misses. Okay. So. I'm going to say, could you move just a scooch a little over? And that misses. Hey, okay. Move just a little over. Clear away. Thanks. I'll clear away. Sorry. thing. Oh, my internet is playing games again. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, boundary. Those both miss. Other way. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to say, like. Come on, Nico. Call those punches. Get it together. I don't know. We got this. Go for it. Uh, 17 hits. Go ahead, roll damage. Cool. 
I'm not gonna lie. You're you you're sound like a sure like a robot on drugs. <laughs> yeah, you might want to disconnect yeah. and reconnect to Discord. Yep, you're sounding real bad, there, Carbite. And we're just making up what you say at this point. How now? Yeah, much how better. What? Better, better. How better. now? Much better. What were you saying? Okay, I put my phone back on the Wi-Fi because. Uh, has the damage rolled yet? Yes, seven damage halved because he's raging. The orc on top is raging too. Yes. Wait, wait, no, the orc up here. This is he's oh, the... no. I was attacking. I was attacking the side. I was attacking the companion orc, the little dude. Oh yeah, then he's dead. Um, yeah, that was the goal. Now I have one more attack, and this one has advantage, right? No. Um. He, he's no, not reckless. He, is he not? He, did he not reckless attack? He did not reckless. No. Okay. Um. Eleven misses. Dang. Well, I guess I used all my luck up front. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Granny, you only have Brian's dad to deal with in terms of enemies. Um, Smite. I'm gonna hit him first with Toll the Dead. Nice. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is a failure. And it says that he takes 1d12 since he's missing hit points. Yes. Uh, two, yeah. Oh, wait. Two, two, eight. Eight. Never mind, never mind. Um, I need to... That's 2d12. 2D I need to do 2d12. 2d12. Wait, why 2d? Because if he's missing hit points... If you have level 5. If you're fifth level. She is. She's a level six. She's a little. She's a level six cleric. Okay. It's two d twelve. Yeah. She's a, she's a level six cleric. It's, no, no, it's, my bad. My bad. I'm just gonna roll it, it works. Well because it's acting weird. Okay. Go ahead. Roll for it. Roll for it. Nice. Oh. And that's full damage and too. That is full damage. Oh, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Anything and else, then Granny? I'm going to healing word Brian. Okay. And this time I will not target the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to upscale this. Okay. Sorry, my thing is lagging. Yeah. So what level is that? I'm You're upscaling? to level two. Uh, to second level. Second level? Okay, so that should be 4d4 plus 4. Um. How I, it says 2d4, so how do I change it to 4d4 since it won't let me change it? Um, do I just add I, a 2d4? Yeah, just, just add an extra 2d4 on top of that. Yeah, so go ahead, click healing, and then roll 2d4. Yeah, so 16 health to Brian. You might have to add that manually. I think it worked. I saw the little thing in flash, so. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't know. I've always, I've just been uh, adding the health manually this entire time. Yeah, I don't think it adds automatically. All right. Except on a is that, ones. <laughs> is, that, is that it for you, Granny? Yes, that is it. Okay. Winkhelm, you're up. Bonus action. I'm going to uh, move this flaming sphere and slam it into uh, this guy. Go for it. Uh, That's a dex save, correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, he, roll... he has advantage on those because of danger sense. That's fine. Don't care. Um. So, 
Can you move the sphere so it? Yep. It, it, so it's positioned. That is a sixteen on the deck Passes. Stage. He takes two damage. Okay. But it's on him, or it's going to be on, uh, not on him, but like right next to him now. Right. Uh, opposite. Yeah, right there. Okay. And um, I am going to, and I'm going to move to here. Yep. And I am going to make two. Uh, I'm going to make a uh, am I uh, let me check my where I am range wise yep I'm going to make uh two whip attacks okay uh, do I have advantage of this positioning um Yes, yes, because your whip can reach 10 feet. That hits. He's not dead yet. And again. Oh, that's right. Extra attack. Go ahead. Oh my God. I don't even get to kill um, my own dead. No. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna... Wing, Kiln, Wing Kiln killed both the big boss monsters tonight. Um, he's still alive. He is still alive. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to oh, 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 put a. I'm just going to whip him, and so there's a gigantic, giant quick mark all just. Massive foot marks all over his body. With that, He's okay. So perfect. Now Brian can have the final blow. If he hits, Brian, Brian, you're up. All right. Well, two attacks you as hear, usual. You hear your mother like, "I believe in you, son." <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. You probably don't even need the spear. Um. Yeah, he's dead. How do you kill your father? Uh, I'm just gonna look him like dead in the eyes and be like, "You see, they're dead. Problem is, I don't need you no more." And then I'm gonna just stab. His eyes fill with rage, and he's like, "May Ares have mercy on your soul." And he crumples to the ground. <laughs> There's an eerie silence over the swamp now as the orc raid has been ended. Immediately after, I'm, I'm going to like go wave with my mom and be like, Oh, my darling boy has become a man. I'm so proud of you. And she just wraps you in a hug. What race is she? She's an orc. She's a full orc. Oh, I thought you said he's a half orc. No, half orcs don't exist in my universe. They're all full orcs. You did say he was a half orc. I mean, he's a half orc in size. Yeah, I'm, I'm a half orc in size. <laughs> she looks at you and she's like, "You're not as tall as I expected." Yeah, well, you know me, mother. I don't sleep very well, so you know, sleep apnea will decrease all your head. Yeah. I'm good. So she proudly shows off her engagement ring. She's like, "I." Um, your uncle and I are engaged. We'll be getting married in a few months here. So, um, just, just so you know. Uh, brothers be like, well, I sure darn hope I'm invited to the wedding. Of course you are, dear. <laughs> Granny's gonna lean over the pile and go, did you say uncle? <laughs> Brian's just gonna, like, just Brian hear that? I don't know. She's like whispering it to Kyle. Like, Did she say? He uncle? just kind of looks. Oh gosh. Then it, Brian's just gonna look at the confused look through all these, and Brian's gonna be like, "It's not very close, I'm family. Not don't worry about it." <laughs> Patrilineal uh, cousin marriages are not uncommon, and this is not that she, far off. He kind of goes, "That's orcs." 
they, they like incest for some reason. <laughs> oh, it's not incest if it's with if it's an acceptable if it's an acceptable distance. That's are, you all, are you all saying this out loud because her mother Kyle, would like to explain Kyle herself? Has no charisma. Kyle would absolutely say it out loud. Yeah, she's like, um. There was I a reason seems, I was whispering. <laughs> I know, I know this seems a little weird, but uh, your 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 uncle's your aunt passed away unexpectedly, and um, your uncle and I grew to have a fondness that I didn't expect. He is a proper gentleman, and I'm looking forward to starting a life with him. The bride's gonna look over, and he's gonna like think for a second, try to figure out what the why the little guys look so concerned. And he's like, "Oh, y'all, he's like, he's, he's gonna be like this is my uncle from my father's side." Yes, yes. I'd like to, he's, he's like they're not related by blood. <laughs> I'd like to make a history check on just the general. Um, orc culture and whether this is normal and within societal norms for orc orcs. Um. Yeah. Go ahead and make a history check. Or if this is just this is extra weird. If this is more, if this is extra weird. Um. This is actually fairly common in orc tribes, especially when a tribe is failing. Um. Some women may try to basically get an upper leg with another tribe uh, to strengthen the other tribe while the one that they were in weakens. Oh, so this is um, this is well within normal. Yes. There's nothing unusual. Don't worry about it. This is oh, don't yeah. see it as something indecent or indecorous. This is perfectly fine. Yes. She uh, she turns to you all and she's like, "I'm sorry, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Laga." Would I have known Laga? Yes, yes, you know Laga. And she's like, oh, Nicholas, good to see you. It's good to see you too, Laga. Uh, I think that's about the only good thing that's happened today. Yeah. Kyle, approaches, um, Kyle approaches Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas, oh, he's using your Christian name. <laughs> oh. Your full name, Nico, yes. <laughs> he, Kyle walks up and be like, it kind of almost gives him like a death stare, but also like, like, you good, kid? I'm fine. What are you talking about? You well, were what, I, what I said came into fruition. Yeah. I'm just saying hmm. is you had to watch your man, a person who you called his second father, be killed. Sometimes it could be yep. rough seeing it happen. Yeah, we all saw it. Yes, but I'm saying, are you okay? I'm fine. You don't have to lie. I'm not lying. Oh, so insight check. check. Boy, and we should give him a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Kyle's going to do an insight check as well. All right. Um, are are you are you lying, Carbite? You won't need to make a deception check if you're doing so. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we're gonna believe him no matter what. <laughs> There's still a chance for net one. We'll see. You know what? I'm gonna do it just for funsies. <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my god. I can't see the roll, sure. but Wait, I'll do it. No way, Nika wrote a three. Yeah. Oh my god. So, <laughs> so, um, yeah, everyone knows Nika was lying. He's not okay. <laughs> Granny's just gonna tell them to to cut it out, and she's gonna give him a cookie, and just say, just just leave him alone. Kyle didn't do anything. He was trying to be supportive for once. Just stop talking. Shut up, Granny. You shut up. You shut up. <laughs> God, this is good. He's my fight. pupil. He's my responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> you shut the hell up, Kyle. I'm your burden. No, <laughs> you're my... Uh... Okay. Uh. First off, as much as he tries to hide it, Nico, I'm pretty sure he's very fond of you. <laughs> what, huh. next week? 
Yeah, well, he didn't give me a cookie. <laughs> no. All right, he doesn't have a cookie. Here, Kyle, have a cookie. <sighs> Kyle takes it, but doesn't eat it yet, but just puts it in his bag. Like, the no, cookie's magic. Right, I didn't, I didn't give yeah. you a cookie. Magic. I gave you a lesson. That is more valuable than a cookie will ever be. Aww. Ready to hurt me. <laughs> yeah, well, I want the cookie right now, so. <laughs> Gosh, your teeth are so arrogant. Oh, come now, don't pretend you weren't like this at one point in your life. I was, and that's why I'm trying to tell them not to be this way. <laughs> In the <laughs> He's literally doing exactly what I did, and I'm trying to tell him not to do it. And in, in the background, you hear rabbit, rabbit. I have a rabbit. question. I have one question. Yes. Did Granny remember who he is by now? I forgot. Um. Yes. Okay. Yeah. She's going to look Kyle straight in the face and say, "If you didn't listen to Sotum when he told you this, why do you think he's going to listen to you?" Because I eventually listened to Sotum. You didn't get my names. <laughs> yes, and I'm trying to prevent him from doing what happened to well, me. Yeah, I, I thought you would be surprised that she knows who you are. Oh, he is. He, he's just trying to play it off. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what this relationship is because but I'm all, oh, and I'm going to make some assumptions. The relationship with whom? Between the Granny and uh, Kyle. Oh boy, uh, uh, what did you say? Kyle. Kyle. Yeah, Kyle. Yeah, between Granny and Kyle. I don't know what it is, and so I'm going to make certain assumptions. Okay. Okay. Um, Granny was some sort of uh school teacher or uh nursery uh like was the the lady who ran the nursery when uh Kyle was a small child and he nope. was very nope. troublesome. Nope. Nope. Not, not at, at all. all. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> they met each other in adulthood. So yes, no, that's not, no, no, like this this is a story that he's coming up with in his mind. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, fair. He's fair. Like, he's very, very, very this surprised. Is, <laughs> like this is the story that he's coming up with in his mind that uh so Granny was the uh basically the the, the, the nurse uh, of, uh who in charge of the nursery for Kyle and that uh he was a very troublesome child and that uh that's why she's all talk talking about sotum and uh such things at him and he's yes i'm a better person now than you knew me when i was a a small child yeah no, no. but yeah okay that's I mean, yeah it's a fair assumption you have no idea what the age difference between us is yes so brian's just gonna like lean over to his mother and be like you think they played bangle together i bet you they played some hard bangle together <laughs> Your uncle, so, your uncle's actually been quite good at bingo. Yeah, he was always very lucky. Of course, he, of course, he was even more luckier on on uh, uh, pin, uh, pin the tail on the pin the spear on the screaming corpse. <laughs> so, well, that's an easy that game. Is, they don't move very much. That is hasn't been a, a, around in the arena in almost a century, but there are records of it. I... Um. How... So when you were uh, when you were younger, Granny, uh, did you take uh, Kyle to the arena? I don't even know who she is. <laughs> I never met her before. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't even know how she even knows me. <laughs> Granny's just gonna give a little teeny, tiny smile. <laughs> I've never been to the arena, Wolf Emma. I have no idea what goes on there. Well. And as this conversation is taking place, Kyle, you hear a voice in your head. A very familiar voice. Is it so true? She kind of, she, she, she kind of giggles and goes, Fair is foul, and foul is fair. Hover through the filthy air until your eyes meet the dawn with every foe slain a skeleton spawn. Enjoy your little gift, sweetheart. And the voice leaves. How familiar do I know this voice? 
You know this voice. It's Heliana. <laughs> the moment, like, while everyone's bickering with each other, like, if everyone's, anyone's paying attention to Kyle, Kyle was, like, stone-faced. Can, can we roll uh, perception? <laughs> and, um, and let's see. So who, um, Nico and Granny, you immediately see, like, black smoke begin to rise uh, in wisps and cut off of uh, Kyle's shoulders. Okay, uh, then? You good, Dalsolf? He, he doesn't register Nico's re- remarks. He's just, like, he, he is completely, like, not there anymore. Granny's gonna lean over to Nico now. Does this happen often? <laughs> I've never seen this before. Nico goes up to Kyle and, and like, and, like, knocks on his forehead. You in there? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Don't do that again. Um, I, I zoned out there. I'm sorry. You zoned good? out with smoke around you. Was... Yep, and the and the smoke is just continuing to rise off of his shoulders, and it dissipates into the air as quickly as it comes. I thought I heard a familiar voice, but that's impossible. Hmm. Yes, you know she's supposed to be dead. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do I sense undead? Um... No, but you do sense something very necromantic about this effect of Brian. It's some sort of spell. Some sort of spell that's been placed on him from very far away. Brian or Kyle? Effect on me, what? Or Kyle, excuse me. Not Brian, (laughs) Kyle. What? (laughs) Kyle, yes. Get Brian out of this. (laughs) I was like, I I zoned out for two seconds and someone put a curse on me. (laughs) What the heck did I do? No, he, he just shakes his head and snaps out of it. It's like, I, I, I don't know what that was about. So that was... Yes. That was a bit weird. But nonetheless, we got stuff to do. So, uh, Laga turns to her son and she's like, Brian, I know our ways aren't necessarily your thing, but if you'd like, there is a chieftain position open in the Grizzled Teeth now, unless you just want to disband it. Well, to be honest, Ma, I might be okay with coming back, but I think I'm going to stick around with these guys for a little bit. Just see where life takes me, you know? Plus, I'm still a young orc. Well, kind of. I need, I need more experience. That is understandable. I will I will maintain the peace in your absence. I appreciate that, mother. Well, it was lovely to meet you all, but I need to be getting back to my hut. Um, congratulations. On your upcoming wedding. Thank you. And she wanders off deeper into the swamp. And that is where we will end oh, tonight's I, I session. I will say at the end, like Kyle is just kind of like walking off in the distance. Like he's just muttering to himself. There's no way. It is impossible. Uh, Granny, you catch that. <laughs> You catch Kyle's words as he wa- as he wanders Who's off. Can... Okay, so he appears to be following Sotum, right? Yes. As far as you know, he is a luminous through and through. You know his past was murky, but he is a converted man. So she's just assuming that something from his past is coming back to haunt him. Yes. Well, that's what happens, I suppose, when you mess with certain things. <laughs> 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 yes, and Nico, you you've never seen Kyle act like this. You've never seen any magic affect him, and now there's this smoky. Believe me, I have him. not. <laughs> Nico is like, <laughs> what yeah. on earth is going on? Or Nico? <laughs> Nico's ex- ex- always sees. Uh, always, I'm assuming seeing him as solid person you... who's got everything together. Are you... Oh, and just. And just to be crystal clear, um, only Granny, Kyle, and Nico see the smoke. Brian and Winkhelm do not see the smoke. You do not know oh. that he's cursed. You do not know is that this, he's cursed. Is this something yes. we can see because of, I don't know, something that we, maybe about our class or? 
Um, you it's because you're a cleric. Uh, Nico it's because he just has high wisdom. Ah. That's, I don't think my perception's high enough. <laughs> so, yes. It is, um... I mean, you can roll, like, a religion or arcana check, Granny. Actually, roll religion with advantage. You're pretty sure you know what this is. Yes, you know what this is. Um, you think back to your dream, and you think back to that drow woman. Whoever placed the curse on Kyle has a connection to this drow woman that's trying to escape from hell. Hmm. I wonder if I should talk to him about my dream. It's up to you. I think I will, but you have to remind me of the details. Um, yeah, so you had a dream where you flashed back to basically before your city got destroyed, and turns out that that was all a mirage, an illusion. Um, you were teleported into hell, and you were basically offered, um, you were basically offered your old life back if you gave up Sodom and started to serve, um, a figure known as the Blood Lord. Okay, I'm gonna go and talk to him about that. Um, wait, who, what was the name of the woman talking to me? Uh, Kikea was the name of the woman. Uh, of course, it's, of course, you would know through your religious studies that saying that name aloud is not necessarily a good thing. Hmm. That's why most people refer to her, refer to her, refer to her uh, by her title as the Revenancer, if they have to speak of her at all. Um, I'm gonna go up to Kyle. Kyle, can I ask you something? What do you want? Um, do you know it? Someone by the name of the Revenancer and the Blood Lord. I have never heard of that before. Okay, I had a strange dream this morning, um, where I was. Teleported down to hell and <laughs> hmm. and also my old life back in return to serving the Blood Lord. I have never heard that before, but, but how it... do you know me? Oh, you don't remember? I have no idea who you are. Do you remember a young elf woman who wiped Sotum's face? Not. Go, go, go ahead and make go ahead and make a history check there, Kyle. Uh, history, you say? Yes, history. Yeah, you remember her. The details are coming back to you now. You're like, oh yeah, there was this woman. She was a lot younger though. I recall a woman who wiped her face, wiped Sodom's face, but that can't be you. That is me. Oh, Asian. I you. have this, and I pull out my handkerchief. Well, Asia didn't do you well. Well, I am 650 years old, my dear sir. <laughs> <laughs> so you saw me at that, that day? Yes, I did. And you saw, I'm assuming you knew what happened. Yes. What do you know of me? No more than what I saw that day. Hmm. Well, that was the past, and a long time ago. Sotham has forgiven me for what I have done, and he has given me a second chance. Yes, I see that. It is absolutely wonderful, and I'm very happy for you. Ooh. <laughs> but I... Ah, never mind. Anyway, this, um mist thing kind of reminded me of my dream and I thought maybe you know a little more about it no that I whatever just happened it was just imagination or just in my head or something it had to be granny you know that's not true that, uh, that, no that that was very real it's impossible is it though yes it's impossible. There's no way around it. You know that necromancy is a thing, right? 
I know what necromancy is. What I'm saying is it's impossible. And he just walks off. Okay. <laughs> and that is where we will end the session. Whew. <laughs> All right. Wow. Uh... Uh, Zach, your backstory is complete. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> oh, that was very funny. <laughs> so, has anyone figured out what my story is yet? Because I've been dropping hints. Yeah, we've got the hints. We're just not. We're just not. Uh, we haven't met so, yeah. anyone.